wine people love to talk about the differences between mountain fruit and valley floor fruit, and they assume that everybody knows why it's important. I don't think that's true. I'm Elizabeth with Wine for Normal People, and let me break it down for you. Let's talk about mountain fruit first. Think about a mountainside. Aren't too many places where you can grow wine grapes, but on those sites you get great sun exposure, you get cooler sites, and the soil is pretty poor, and that's great for grapes. What does that produce? It produces a wine that's got great mouth drying tannins, great mouth watering acidity, and kind of different flavors or earthy flavors in the fruit. So it's less overtly fruity, but definitely more complex. It's a little bit expensive to harvest, a little bit more rare, so they tend to be more expensive. Valleys are a little bit more abundant. They also have more fertile soil and get lots and lots of sun exposure. As a result, the grapes are super fruity, really juicy, and those wines tend to really hit you in the face with fruit. Sometimes the two are blended together, sometimes they're separate, but if you see mountain wine or wine that's grown on a mountain by itself, it's gonna be more expensive and now you know why.